Yeah. Well, ask like some more milk questions. Yeah. Okay. So, Rolling. All right. Well, so what did Action. you eat for breakfast this morning? What did I eat for breakfast this morning? I had uh, scrambled eggs and kind of a pizza. Oh, piece. Like, oh, nice. Whatever that was. <laughs> All right. Uh, so can you just introduce yourself for us? Yeah, so my name is Rob Roberts. Uh, I live in Louisville, Kentucky. I've been there for two years. This is, has been an opportunity for us. Rytopia has asked us to come in and build our geodesic dome, one of our geodesic domes. And one of the things that we do at festivals is we take this around, we build the dome, we fill it up with art, uh, with, usually with a water feature, uh, a feeding table for butterflies, and we add 200 native butterflies. When I see a butterfly, it's also just this like such a tangible uh, visual of transformation and I think we all want to transform. We all have this like rough exterior, this cocoon that we feel like we're in and I, I know I know myself I wish that I could sometimes I wish I could break out of that cocoon and like be different. This is called the butterfly bus by the way. And it is the third edition. We've already seen. All right. Wow. Whoa. The, that's the Hobbit. That's the Tolkien trilogy. That's the Hobbit hole back there. <laughs> this is the compost toilet, and there's a whole story about how that works. But this is what's cool. We, we tried on. We tried this out. See that? Yeah. And oh, then spoilers on this calendar. Spoiler a couple, a couple are still pending, but we're just trying to Coachella. fill it up. Yeah, that's an idea. The Blues Idea Bubbles, but we're trying to fill it all oh, up with cards? festivals yeah. throughout the oh, year. Oh, excellent. So. A little business card. <laughs> Thank you, Emma. Thanks, guys. Thank you. <laughs> so, this is a generator. Oh, oh, oh we're just this, done. this, this. I'm getting really relaxed with them and I, you know, I can kind of, uh, I sensed, like for instance today, they weren't moving very much, not much was going on, and we were a little bit concerned that maybe we weren't giving them enough water, even though it had rained a lot. So um, Emma and, and my helper and I went to town and bought these butterfly bushes and a milkweed plant, they have to have the milkweed plant to survive. Um, and they immediately became more active. So even though this is my 18th or 20th time doing this, I'm still learning what they, what they need. Some of them were animals. We've actually found a skunk in the in the in the butterfly dome last night. They eat them, mm. and then geckos, mice, squirrels. It was not fun. I, I'm really hurt by it. I, it hurts me, but I also know that we're that changes have been made. It's the same mistakes that when you know maybe letting some of them some of them were f let free. They actually escaped. So uh, that's that's really nice. Um, and also I think it's a reminder for everybody to just be more cautious about other people's lives and other people's other animals, like the footprints that we make. It's, it's all very, uh, we can, it's very easy to be careless. And, uh I feel bad for the butterfly, that it never flew away to the trees, never got out of its hometown. Its chrysalis will never burst open in a firework of glory, and it will never see its wings. It will never know what it is like to fly. That's my point. She lived in New Hampshire, so there was like a lot. There were a lot of milkweed, and we would like see a lot of monarch butterflies, and we would like 
we had this game called Butterfly Bingo, and it was just like it was just like it was like bingo, but it was all, all these different types of species of butterflies. Mm. And I just remember like never ever being able to tell the difference. And it comes back to animals. the idea that this yeah. environment slows us down as humans, gives us the uh, ability to to slow down and talk to each other, gives us the opportunity to slow down and talk to each other. And that is the one thing I find consistent consistent at either a writing camp, an educational camp, an art festival, you know, a crazy burn, whatever. Actually, actually, I have one more thing I want to do for you. Yeah. You want yes. Five seconds. Yes. I want to get, I want to get the shot of Rob standing in front of Butterfly Blossom, where like the stem is. So oh it looks yeah. Like well, it has the it's kind of a photo That's op, isn't idea. it? Yeah. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Keep dancing. Oh, yeah. Hey Emma, what is it? How do we? Come here. Come here. Let's do that. Oh, come here. Let's do the butterfly. <laughs> grab it, grab it. This is. Oh yeah. Now, now we're all together. How do we do it? Like this? No. Wait. Wait. How do I do it? Do it. Do it again. This way? And then there, Josh. This way? Oh, what? No, oh, yeah. Remember this. Kramer? Kramer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. 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 Get in here. Go, 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 Come on, go, go, go. everybody. Go, go, go. Get, in here. <laughs> get in here. Get in here. Yay. <laughs> so long. Farewell. Fantastic. Love you guys. Love you Come on. Like Group bug. Come on. Emma, get in here with these guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you so Thank much. You so Please tell me you caught that on video. Excited too. Jake, do we have time to do a follow-up interview? Yeah. Mm. <laughs>